All right, what's going on, everyone? My name is Tom from Dread Labs. Abby from Dread Labs. Yes. Oh, the girlfriends. You, you wanted to introduce yourself. Right? Yeah, because it's like when you say it, it's iconic. Instagram right. and <laughs> my well. name is Gabi from Dread Labs. <laughs> uh, so we're doing a, a live podcast right now. Uh, I think uh, looking at this, uh, we pro should probably uh, do it on YouTube. Yeah, the next time again. Uh, I think. Oh wait, there's there are some viewers. Right. Um. Yeah. The thing that we wanted to talk about today was fashion mostly. Okay. And already outdated is uh, <laughs> banned by Nightbot for some reason. Again. Yeah. This Nightbot doesn't. Anyways. We like uh, him. Welcome everyone for, uh, to the chat. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, uh, you can ask us questions during the live. So yeah, uh, I wanted to talk to you about fashion because uh, that's becoming a bigger topic here in Dread Labs. Uh, yeah, you are also pretty much a fashion enthusiast. So can you tell me a little bit about like how you got in? How did you? Why did you think it's so interesting? And uh, mm. what do you mainly do around fashion? Yeah, I think I'm I'm a fashion enthusiast, but I'm also mostly a shopaholic. I just like shopping. You also work in a shop. Oh yeah, <laughs> you forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot it. I work in a clothing shop. I re I just like um, I know what it is. I like branding things, not only brands but also people. Yeah. Okay. So and I what... find it interesting what people wear and what does what does that say about them. Um. So we have a couple of questions in uh in the chat. I think uh, so. Mm -hmm. uh, Zartrax is asking if we print designs in our house. Um, so there are multiple ways to print your design onto a t-shirt and I've done multiple ones, um, but I haven't done them in my house. Uh, I have painted t-shirts in my house. Um, I use special fabric paint, uh, as fabric markers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I did like the denim, the jackets yeah. I made and pants. Yeah, definitely. But like, I uh, just use acrylic paint, not fabric paint. Right. Yeah, that, so I think denim jackets are just the cool. Th denim is just the nicest mm -hmm. fabric to paint on. And it's a great starter. Yeah. For learning. Definitely. And you can use the cheap acrylic. Definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, because it's it dries as plastic, not as paint. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and it's also a lot cheaper. Right? Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> um, but yeah, then you have screen printing, and I want to get into the videos uh, for screen printing. Uh, well, yeah, during um, what's it called uh, during this video series. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the, the, yeah, I will be doing screen screen printing videos from my house in the future, uh, and then uh, the t shirts that you get get in the Dreadlabs web store are actually printed in uh, Barcelona in Spain, uh, and it's just in a uh, what do you call it? A warehouse. Uh, in a warehouse, yeah. Um, oh, we should have worn them today. Oh yeah, and also because actually, I actually wanted to show my uh, like my Dreadlabs uh, denim jacket, but I think it's downstairs, like in the in the yeah in the basement yeah, yeah. Um, because you know one of your t-shirts with the uh, red design is one of my favorites to wear. Oh right, the yeah. Dreadlabs one, yeah. Um, okay, so then we have uh, not the promotion or something, but uh, <laughs> um, so it's yeah uh, the. Uh, my designs are uh, done, the ones in Barcelona are done uh, through Printful, and I'll do a video on that as well in the future. Uh, and Outdated is actually asking for uh, requesting to speak, so I'll Ooh. invite him onto the board. Outdated. Uh, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Can you hear me? What's up, guys? What's hey. up? Hey. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, actually. How cool. are you guys doing? Yeah, really good. Yeah, fine. We're uh, happy to do this live podcast <laughs> for the first time with, you, with like talking to actual people from the Dreadlabs community. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I was pumped about it, but then I totally forgot that you were uh, you guys were going to do a podcast today. And oh, I right. randomly saw a notification and <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you rushed to, do, to jump in. <laughs> because normally we do it on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, because it's uh, Kavi has to go to the dentist and the the, the hairdresser the hairdresser tomorrow it's very important uh, so no. <laughs> that's why she couldn't do it today but sorry <laughs> uh, what's going on new objective by the way uh so sorry are they did you have a question for us uh yeah actually so i want to ask you guys like how do you guys deal with hate or like how do you guys deal with negative comments to your stuff or your produce things i mean like the things you make because recently i've been like receiving 
so much hate on my stuff and i don't know i feel like quitting off twitter and like moving to a uh, another social uh, social media just because i've been receiving so much hate so h- how do you guys usually deal with it um that's a very good question actually yeah um, it is and uh from what i've heard is uh that twitter twitter is like really really toxic right in in terms of mm-hmm. like uh, people talking about your design and stuff and i think it's in like in every twitter community it's like kind of toxic from what i've heard yeah but um, do you use twitter i'm not really on no. twitter uh, anymore um it isn't really that big in the netherlands i think no it's it's it's, it's kind of like gone yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, I think what I would do is um, I've had a lot of hate on Reddit, like back in the day when I started sharing mm-hmm. like some clothing and stuff. And um, the way that I dealt with it was, I, um, I, I, yeah, for I should just deleted some of the posts that like got a lot of negative attention because just like I know how it feels like getting a notification mm-hmm. and it's just someone hating on you. Uh, and I'm just really glad that it doesn't really happen that often on like the Dreadlips platform in itself. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, what I'd like to do then is I probably want to take a break from social media. And like you said, are they, uh, maybe it's smart to like move platforms. I, from what I've seen, uh, the Dreadlips or the, the Dreadlips, the Instagram community in our design, like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, niche is is really nice like i haven't really yeah, seen that is. much negativity mostly like oh, some people making fun of like trends and stuff like that you know yeah but, but not to a person yeah not but it's not like fun a, of a person yeah definitely and that's also for example uh, one of the reasons why like when i rant about someone or when I, whatever i don't want to expose that person no. or something you know because like i don't want this person to get like negative attention in that way mm-hmm. um so yeah, to 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 sum it up, I guess I would like uh, maybe like delete Twitter off your phone for like a week or something, um, so you can get like get your head straight. And of of course, it's like important to it's all about creating, you know, the creative process and making stuff and yeah. that, and having fun doing that. And if uh, looking at Twitter uh, doesn't make it fun anymore for you, I guess. Um, yeah, I would probably suggest like leaving that for a while uh, and and try to create, you know, uh, and see if you can still be happy creating, and then maybe yeah, move move along to like Instagram or something. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. Yeah, I I, uh, I didn't really get hate on my stuff. I'm not very popular, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel the same as Tom. Right. Uh, so yeah, I hope this answered your question, bro. Yeah, it did actually. Honestly, like, I love how, like, Twitter in general, in as, like, a community, how, how it works. But then, I, I just don't want to take names, but there are some people who just want to just push you down instead. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And actually, um, I was planning to leave Twitter, but then uh, the thing was that uh, I had so many friends over there, and I, I love to support people on there. Which is like one of the greatest thing I could imagine because mm-hmm. it's uh, so like uh, I don't know how to explain this, but uh, it's so fun and like uh, meeting new people and exploring. So yeah. yeah, that's why that's the only reason I'm not leaving Twitter. But I'm like till like I'm not going to post for a while at least now. Yeah. And uh, that's all. Uh, thank you guys. Yeah, cool. You're welcome. Um, and I think it's uh, also like if you meet friends on Twitter, maybe you can even like uh, uh, send them a direct message and see if they have an Instagram or maybe yeah. like join a Discord to- together or maybe even make your own Discord or something, you know, like, uh, uh, yeah, that's a cool thing You uh, that probably a lot of these people have multiple platforms to uh, to uh, to like, like where they're active. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it's it's nice to make friends with the yeah become friends with these people and then yeah but the see keeper, if you can move the friendship elsewhere i guess yeah right? and the keeper said something yeah, in the yeah. chat that's very uh, true uh twitter is probably the worst of social media no second. the last oh wait the last i think message. <laughs> uh, the compromise is using twitter purely for networking and conversation uh and ig for image sharing yeah that that might be even yeah yeah that might be cool as well yeah maybe you can split it up out there like maybe use instagram just for posting yeah and twitter for and yeah. yeah that's what i'm actually kind of doing right now all right yeah. thank you cool uh thank you for uh, your question and i hope this helps uh and now i need to see if i can okay now i can move your back to the audience oh you did it already yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just left uh so yeah uh 
back to the chat actually here. Uh, what's up, Neo Objective, Campiador, The Keeper, Revolver, and Jackson? How are you guys all doing? Jackson. Um, My man. So yeah, <laughs> uh, we were uh, we we were in the middle of like talking in the middle about fashion. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of want to get like our uh, our like work now and show it to the camera. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we might do that later in the podcast. But we'll... oh, you can post something on your Instagram stories uh, about it. So if you go on Dreadlabs and uh, you scroll like all the way down on Instagram, like mm -hmm. I think it's the fourth or fifth post or something. Like you did the, the jacket. I shared the jacket actually. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's uh, I used a. Um, I, I drew a skull and I printed it out on an A4 mm -hmm. paper and then I cut it out with a knife. Wait, I will scroll it for you. I will search right. it while you tell the story. Um, and then I, uh, I, I don't know, I just uh, placed like, uh, I, I placed it onto like the back of my denim jacket and then I pinched uh, or I, I put it together uh, with, how do you call them? Like the little the needles. needles. Yeah. Ah, and then I the spray needle. painted all over that and it's special spray paint for... Um, for fabric actually I'm so scrolling. really cool that you can just uh, i think the brand is called marabu or something and they do just uh so you can do actually like graffiti onto your clothing and stuff did you post about it uh yeah uh which oh, one did I, oh maybe i archived it let me see if i can oh, i did I, the sorry. scrolling for nothing <laughs> oh. uh so yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, maybe I'll just get the jacket in, uh, in no, five seconds. I want to find it. If you have a story to tell for like maybe like three minutes, I I can, I can tell about back. school. Uh, ooh, mm. that's actually a pretty good segment into a. Uh, well, we always have a client horror story thing, right? <laughs> yeah, what I just went through. Mm. If you can talk about that. Yeah, I can uh, talk about it for hours. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll just get my jacket yeah. or my jacket. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to the um, the basement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget the keys. Okay. Okay. I will tell about my school. My school, it's not like a normal school where you study and you get a test. It's like, um, our class is like a brand, I think, or a company. And we work on, uh, projects. And, um, a, a school came to us and they asked for a designing, uh, question. Like, how can we, put us out there even more and find new children who want, uh, or parents who want to put their children here. And um, me and four other um, classmates were like, yeah, we want uh, to become better in designing. So we're gonna take this, um, this question. And after a few meetings, they were like, no, we don't want something to be designed. We want a video, a branding video. And we were like, mm, that's not what you ask for. You ask for a new um, a brand guide. And we were like, okay, yeah, we're gonna make a, a video for you because I study communication. I can do something with um, just the basic of video design. But then my other classmates were like, mm, no, eh, that's not our learning goal because we need to get learning goals and need to, um, you, we, yeah, we need to get them like to a certain level. So um, we did kind of compromise with the school uh, we worked for to make a, um, uh, a, a report for them. I think it's the right word with um, advice. And today we had the presentation. <laughs> um, we had the, the, we had the presentation. And uh, the the school head was there and a teacher and another woman who was, I think it's from designing department. And we did the presentation for like 30 minutes. And in the beginning we said, please wait, um, please wait till the end with questions. And he was like, hmm, okay. And I was like, mm, that's, that's weird because nobody wants to solve with questions. And at the end of the presentation, we're like, yeah, we have 30 minutes left in our meeting and you can ask us the, pre the questions. Yeah. And um, they started firing with this is not good and this is not good and this and this and this. And they, they totally, um, yeah, I think broke down our um, a piece that we sent yeah. them. Our, um, <laughs> they came with very weird 
explanations for it because they have like nine um, core qualities. And it's normal to have like three or five. And we found um, we found some documents who said that. And it's like um, really good. Um, how do you say that? Underbouwd. Uh, really great. Reasoning. I guess. A reasoning with it. And he was like, no, it works for us. And we were like, no, we spoke with parents and it, it doesn't work. Yeah. It was like, no, it does. Like, no, it <laughs> why doesn't. Did you, why do you want to get research done if the, if you yeah. don't want to accept the results of the research? Yeah, I'm just, I'm still very heated. It was like 20 minutes before the podcast started. Yeah. So I'm still, we, we did record it so you can watch it later. Yeah, I, I really want to watch it. Yeah, it's in Dutch, so we can't share it on the red text. Yeah, and also and, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's confident, but yeah. uh, you, you can't just expose them like yeah, that. Yeah, but they are going to expose us because we did something about their um, uh, the concurrency. Their rivals. The rivals, rivals yeah, cool. yeah, because it, it's in the same um, city. And you know, you know the the thing we send to them, it's confident, confidential. Yeah. And I said, but if I'm gonna show it to them, they're uh, it's not okay to say this about them without uh, yeah, investigation. Say. And we were like, no, because you don't send it to them. We find we did find it online, yeah. and it it is what they say. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not a lie from us. <laughs> it's it's really uh, stupid. Um, I'm very hard. Hot headed. Hot headed. Hot headed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm turning red <laughs> because uh, so, I'm yeah. so angry. That was this week's uh, client horror story. Yeah. Uh, then we have. Uh, I just came back with my jacket here. Uh, let me see if I can show it back to you. So this. Um, so the skull is done with a uh, like a piece of paper, and I just printed it out, and I like I did it. Uh, I spray painted over it. Um, and then the front, I don't, I don't think if you can, if you can read it, but it says like dreads all over. Yeah. You can kind of read it, right? Like, like this. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe the, you can do a giveaway sometimes or the, a, uh... yeah, there are actually two made in the whole world. Um, what is it on the, I'm on planning the on making a third. <laughs> um, so this is the very first idea that I had for dread labs. Oh, uh, really? So it's a text that I wrote down on the uh, on the sleeve here. Let me see if I can uh, uh, read it out loud. Uh, so, for, okay. Uh, <laughs> so it says, variety of, content, variety of contents may include graphic design, handmade illustrations, um, analog or dig digitalized 3D render objects, uh, animations, uh, sound files, photo photographs, uh, and garments. All content that will be delivered will at least be approved, if not produced, by the art director of this intended design studio, independent you. design studio. Which is the one I was like, like oh, Red Lab should be like an all round design studio mm -hmm. or something. And then the other one is like, uh, also like the bottom details here have. Uh, oh, it's not like. Uh, barbed wire, like, like this in the one. top here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's so like in a mirror. A yeah. mirror. <laughs> Um, so this size, I think it's, uh, it's a, it's an L officially, but it's, it fits like an M. Um, so is it for my brand or is it, I was looking uh, for the label. I removed the label, but oh. I don't, yeah, it, it was just, I think it's thrifted actually. I'm not okay. sure. Um, maybe we can, once the store open, thrift some more, we can make. Yeah. We want to do an upcycle thrift store collection, yeah. which is also really cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the uh, the uh, the one other person who uh, got the other jacket paid three hundred dollar euros for it. So, um, and you did one for your friends. Yeah, that's, we that's talked the... about it uh, because it was his Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We did. That's that's different. That jacket. Yeah, actually. but I know. Uh, Rick, my friend, also has this jacket. Oh, which Rick? From Jody. Oh, yeah. nice. Um, He's a good friend. So yeah, uh, to answer some questions in the comments, I think when we go all the way back, uh, someone asked if we were planning on doing another Dreadlabs mm. clothing drop. And no, we no. Are. First outdated said he really lost my t-shirt. Yeah, so, yeah. Tom, it's it's your favorite. And I was uh, yeah. asking this morning, what should I wear to the podcast? And you said that. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, Any Dreadlabs thing. clothing plans for the future? Yeah. Uh, so during the videos where I explain how to create a clothing brand, I will also 
make one myself to give like examples and see how and let you show mm -hmm. how I work on this. Um, and basically, I'm just starting from a concept that I've been working on during the world building session a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, get that world building session, grab stuff from the uh, from that like fake world that we mm -hmm. made up. And we are going to make clothing collections around that. So, um, and I'm not really sure on how, how we're going to make them or uh, with in which way. But yeah, they will also this will all just develop yeah. as we go during the video series. But we will doing uh, we'll be doing uh, more clothing in the future. Um, so, uh, and also want to do more videos or really like go thrift shopping and then like do a thrift yeah. show, shop lot. Maybe we can do like that. that for the jackets. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Maybe like we buy we some stuff and we upcycle them. Finally, again. as an excuse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, then uh, I did. Uh, no, I didn't really set up the singer yet because I didn't really have time to look into it. But I hope to f uh, fix it before uh, or before we can do live streaming on uh, on Friday. Um. So, uh, Sartrex is asking. Asking. Wait. Are, am I? What? I didn't forget a question, right? Uh, no, like this one from Revol. I think it's about my school. So different brands and companies come oh, okay. to you. Yeah, we work for for um, other companies because I'm working for my hairdresser uh, yeah. on how to get her engagement on Instagram up. Yeah. So yeah, your your your, your uh, school basically works like a, like a design studio. Yeah, it is, but for free. Yeah. You can get students for free, and we work internationally. We have uh, I don't know if you know that. But we work for a pastry uh, shop in like Canada. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how did that pastry shop end up in the Netherlands? Um, no, it's still in Canada. Yeah, but how did they end oh, up with a design a, studio? Which it's a friend of a niece of someone in the company. Oh, okay. Like mouth to mouth, uh, we're asking for new. Yeah, um, word, yeah. Uh, word to word, mouth to mouth. Was it uh, word to word or mouth to mouth? I never. I think it's remember. word to word. mouth to mouth is kind of like uh, when you when someone is dying, you give them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. But um, you know where we we were looking for new companies to help. Word of mouth. That's word of word. mouth. Yeah. Didn't we talk about it? Yeah, I think this is the <laughs> every time <week>. we asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> face to face, but it wasn't face to face. It was online. So. Yeah. But like with um meetings with her it's very di difficult because the time oh time difference yeah, yeah. yeah. i think it's a minus at least minus six or seven hours or something yeah if not more yeah my school is very fun because we learn in uh, uh we learn in practice yeah you, you learn by working. why yeah but by, by doing it and not uh not studying for a test and forgetting mm. yeah. the information um, so Revol oh, no, uh, Zartrex is what uh, asks what's my favorite clothing brand and where do I take ideas and inspiration from? Um, I think a lot of inspiration and ideas from things that don't really have to do with clothing. So mm -hmm. basically, uh, stories, uh, animation, uh, you know, well, w creative stuff and cool stuff, but um, yeah, not really like uh, you know. Uh, brands but to answer your question and to talk about my favorite clothing brand um wait can i guess it i think yeah. it's daily paper isn't I it i think it is yeah uh yeah. it's it's a difficult question because there are so many cool brands out there i also really like vetamon but i never owned a piece mm -hmm. of vetamon because it's really 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 expensive mm -hmm. um is like, it? i don't know it it's like uh, 400 euros for a t-shirt or something mm -hmm. um but yeah uh, i think uh I think Daily Paper. It's a Dutch brand. It's it's gone international I think because it's they have international like international now. Yeah, uh, and I, I I think they're one of the Netherlands' biggest uh, clothing brands now. They they have like a store in New York and stuff. But I it's... was gonna think you were gonna say one of the biggest exports. I was like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> from the Netherlands. You have Martin Garrix. Uh, so. I, you you know that like uh, DJs are actually yeah. the biggest export for the Netherlands, and we know something different that the Netherlands is famous for exporting to the world. Something not legal. What, we? Yeah, drugs. Do we export it over the world? Yeah, though? we make it like here. Yeah, I know Legend. that, but I, I I thought like for example like Colombia and stuff like that. 
they have like a pretty they should have like oh, a pretty yeah. big cocaine expert right yeah i give it to them okay yeah. colombia you're the biggest <laughs> um i have seen huni uh that's actually also pretty cool uh, do you know huni no uh, so there's this german girl uh called mona thomas i mm-hmm. think Oh, you was it the one with the plastic, uh, yeah. with the glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She has like her, 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 her uh, iridescent like yeah. glasses. They're super cool shit. Yeah, you and she makes them. it all by hand. Yeah. That's so so, and now she also released like sweaters, mm-hmm. and they have like uh, embossed print. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, can you go to the shirt shop for me? <laughs> uh, wait, is it the? There's a shop in Amsterdam that's called the Shirt Shop. I don't know. Wait, Isn't is it, it like? Is it you... one of those like Amsterdam tourist t- shops though? Or I don't know. I uh, really like the brand from one of your followers. Cool shirts. Oh, uh, cool shirts. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it sounds weird to say that they're w- one of my followers because like they're bigger than me. Yeah, but I think I know them because of you. Yeah. Um, I really like them. Yeah, that's the, uh, they, they, they have really cool stuff as well. Uh, I thought you were t- going to talk about Cosmeticize. Cosmeticize? That's uh, also like a clothing brand from uh, someone who is in Dreadlabs community. And, uh, who is it? He has a, the, the one with the reflective ink on it. Wait, what? Do you, you know that like that black shirt with the green print that I always like get? No. Like okay. I showed it to Rick yesterday as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, yeah the, the, that's the, also really cool. But like for me, for yeah, okay. I think you are more cool like shirt happy is more uh, yeah. feminine, happy. I think if you describe yourself, it's kind of grungy. Yeah, punk, emo, punk, uh, dark. Uh, and my techno. is all over the place, like a bubblegum rainbow. Your ba- your style is basically cool shirts. Yeah, it <laughs> is. <laughs> You don't see it. I'm wearing a teddy bear uh, necklace today. Yeah. Um, you should totally start a brand, like doing yeah. all, like basically like a, like a unicorn vomiting all over t-shirts. Like my, uh, for the brand, I draw the stuff. I draw one of our teddy bears. Yeah. Yeah. Like a uh, Ralph Lauren, but cooler. Yeah. Oh, wait, is it Ralph Lauren? Right. Yeah, yeah. it is. Is it oh. teddy bears? Marco Polo? No, well, Ralph. Yeah, right. Ralph. Ralph. Um, all right, so uh, Neo, Neo Objective is asking, I would like to ask you guys, because your style is kind of a, uh, artistic or more like your own signature and recognizable style of graphic design. How do you see a commercial graphics? Uh, what's your opinion on the industry and expectations from studios and at the meaning they are re- reforcing young people to uh, adapt uh, to nowadays trends rather than looking at the original ways of their freedom? Uh, I know it's kind of hard from the client side, um, I think there's not even much support from the studios to try to educate clients. Um, so really big question, um, but uh, well, it is a really really interesting one. Um, so I yeah. think a lot of a lot of my clients as a freelancer, uh, they see trends online and they want me to follow mm-hmm. those trends. Um, and I think a lot of uh, well, there, it depends on the studio, but I I think that a lot of studios do kind of the same thing. They see trends and they like try to have their clients adapt to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I feel like a lot of like freelancers and like artists, especially like in the music industry and stuff like that, um, I think they are like m- more pioneering, I guess. You know what I mean? Like I think, uh, for example, if you see, let's take a mainstream clothing brand like uh, Bershka, mm-hmm. you know? They Ooh, started doing I like, like um, they started doing their visuals and graphics and stuff uh, based on uh, probably like stuff that they saw from like an album cover, yeah, or you know, or like maybe like other brands and these. They're very graphics. trendy. Yeah, so they're they, they, but they follow the trends. Yeah, you know, they don't make them there. No, 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 they follow it. Yeah. They don't make the trends. Yeah, and then it gets big, and then like someone mm-hmm. else needs to come up with something else. But um, yeah, um, so my opinion on that I, I think it's always like even if you work for a studio or even if you work for like clothing mm-hmm. brand or whatever um i think it's all even if you follow these trends i think uh if you learn from it then it's it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. you know like as a designer or as a creative person and then uh using those skills you can always like try to dive deeper into a niche or whatever and mm-hmm. try to develop your own style or maybe like even like um 
develop it even further into a point where people start following you within that niche. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of, um, we did something on, on school about it. Um, what is originality? Oh, yeah. When are you original? Because you always get influenced by something. Right. Is it original then? If you're influenced by something. I think. And you, um, I don't know, maybe just like the color uh, orange. Yeah. Uh, it's made by two influences, red and yellow. Yeah. Is it original? Because like yeah. it puts two things together. It's like a very weird um, question if you start asking that. Yeah, it's like... everything I made. I I saw something online that I thought, oh, this is cool. Maybe if I add this or remove that, it's gonna be yeah cooler. And like even the the like the the pioneers of today's like design community mm -hmm. thing here, basically have all are all like not copying but remixing yeah. the Y two K aesthetic. You know it is, I mean? but is it original? Yeah, it's creative. That that's of course. Yeah. It really depends. And it's think, a hard question. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. But... <laughs> <laughs> so for the people listening in, um, if you want to ask us a live question, you can join us on the Discord panel. Um, and there's also a Twitch command to the Discord. At least there should be one now. Um, uh, so the night boss <laughs> is asking me, is telling me to drink some water. So thank you. That's, the, that's a bot. I don't <laughs> have any water. <laughs> Why didn't you get me something? No, your saliva is on there. No, oh, it's cool. Oh. We live together. Uh, uh, so Jackson's saying, I sent you a link from the shirt shop. <laughs> I don't. They don't have an online oh. shop, and I bought my favorite sweater there when I was twenty. Oh, you know? oh, no, no, thanks. Uh, Sorry for my Dutch in between. Uh, let's see. You are the first to mix something. I think you are original. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. Like, what? Where is? Um, and what are What's originality mixing? to you, mm -hmm. you know? And I think, and I think, in my opinion, like remixing something and like developing it and making it cooler mm -hmm. is is something original because no one had the idea of remixing said thing. Yeah. So the idea might be original then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, all right. So uh, going back to like, uh, yeah, that, yeah. What like Revolve said, nothing is original. Everything is influenced. Um, I think I I, don't know, I want to talk a little bit more about like uh, what you guys want to see in the Dreadlabs clothing collection and stuff like that. Um, for example, talking about originality, I had this idea for a Dreadlabs drip kit. And what I meant by drip kit is I literally made a couple of oh, chains, yeah. a couple of like, uh, like, how do you call those? How do you call them? Necklaces? Like, yeah, like, like, uh, Bedels. You have one. Bedels. Oh, uh, charms. Yeah, charms to, that you can hang on your necklace and then you can just like make your own uh, and you get like, uh, you buy the kit. kit. Uh, and basically there are like multiple chains in there, then some charms uh, and some rings and stuff like that. And you can make your own jewelry mm -hmm. literally. So you can just like uh, decide you for yourself. You have like the, net the necklace, you have it and the keychain. Yeah. Um, and you can, you can just, the, the, and you can like customize it every day. So yeah, this is something that's like not original because like multiple people would have mm -hmm. it if it, if it came out. But you can add it. Yeah. But okay. you can make it original yeah. because if you, let's mm -hmm. say five people buy this kit and then one wears it as a bracelet mm -hmm. and, and no one else does, then it's original because yeah. no one wears it that way, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but you didn't, uh, finish the ID because it was very expensive. Didn't it? Yeah, it was still a to little bit it? expensive to yeah. uh, to start like uh, doing that. <laughs> and bucket head, yeah. A lot of people are asking for that. I want one. Um. So yeah, maybe we can even start doing those. Yeah. Um. <gasps> maybe you can thrift them. Oh, and upcycle them. Yeah. Do some embroidery yeah. videos. Or just cool. paint them. Uh, I think it's. Mm. Uh, I think it's cool if we, uh, I, I might like to do I'm excited. Stream. I want to go to. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we, we, we should probably like uh, book an appointment. I saw, yeah. I saw their story today. and then, uh, From Zipper. Uh, or what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Zartrex is asking, I have a personal question. I'm scared of the future because I live in a country, country where art is not recognized at all. It is not well paid in terms of formal work. Uh, so I want to travel to another country to live by graphic design, but I also want to continue with my personal work and advice to achieve it. Um, 
Mm. Okay, can you give us a little bit of context? Because uh, where do you live, and is it that our like the the aesthetic that we all kind of use is not not very well used, or is it that uh, design in general is not a very well paid job? Mm -hmm. It was like in the Netherlands, culture is very high. Yeah, in some like places, but then in other places it isn't. In the Netherlands? No, but like the government puts it very high, like Muzia, yeah, and until it's very important. Until COVID, though. Yeah, until COVID. Um, <laughs> We're making events yeah. uh, to see uh, animals, but not to the museum or to school. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I Love think... the government. <laughs> Love you, Rutte. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit weird, I guess. Um, no, but we, we shouldn't complain. No, we don't have anything to complain about, you know. I think it's the Netherlands is the fifth um, happiest country in the world. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, let me just do some. I'm very happy to live here. I feel safe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's definitely one of the safest countries in yeah. the world. Uh, I'm just going to do some custom CSS. The do what? The what? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. I got a notification about school. Oh. I'm still scared that the one school we work for is gonna email us to do something different. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. We ended here. Oh, wait, it's uh, the Times New Roman thing didn't really help. Uh... What is New Times Roman? The, the, the font. font, yeah. Where? In the In the chat. Oh, on the right. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, font family, Nimbus. Here, it's... Oh, wait. it's uh, I'll just name this. Nimbus songs. Yeah, but it, it it isn't on my computer. That's why it's not, like, working. The chat is gone. Did yeah, you broke yeah, it? No, no. If if people talk now, then it gets reset, right? Um. Yeah, but it still doesn't work. Um. I'll fix it after the stream. I'll, I'll, and I'll put it to Comic Sans. <laughs> um, I did send you the video, didn't I? With, yeah, uh, with like a lot of logos and they were remade into Comic Sans logos, right? Yeah. It's really cool. I found it very funny. Someone sent it to my... Uh, it like to that my that made me like actually angry to look at. Like it... Yeah, I don't... I want to show you something I did for like my school before this. We made a business plan and we did it in Sans Serif. What? No, we did it in, in, Comic, in Comic Sans. Sans. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. Like on purpose or? No, I thought it was a great font at that time. Wait, when was this? Uh, on uh, the Roy Panne. Ouch. And I was like 19 years old there. So it's not like I can blame it on my childhood. I was very young and didn't understand. Uh, I, did, I actually did a font family sans serif, but it didn't work. Uh... I don't know why. Um, because there's like uh, uh, extra spatie. There's a family and some. No, the, the extra space shouldn't matter. No. Um, it's under body, font family, sans serif, a semicolon, and then it closed again. So yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, you broke it. Well, try to fix it. Anyways, uh, Campiador uh, is asking if I considered selling Dreadlabs patches. People could apply to anywhere they Ooh. want. Portugal, we have university capes. Ooh, uh, that's actually really cool. Uh, maybe we should actually get into that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Dreadlabs patches. Um, so, yeah, if you would, if you would like, want to make accessories for Dreadlabs. Me. Um, yeah, uh, so there can be anything like mm -hmm. jewelry, patches, uh, what would you socks. do? No socks. No heads. Ooh, socks would be cool. I think also heads. knitted sweaters would probably be really cool as well. That is an, an accessory. Yeah, okay, that's not an accessory. No. <laughs> <laughs> like the one sweater you got uh, yesterday or two days ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it's that really, one. It's really great. Mm, I don't know, I, I really like bucket hats, you know? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they're, um, I think my style is more feminine than yours. I think Dreadlabs can be feminine, but it's mostly masculine. Uh, right? Yeah, I think um, 
like 80% of people that follow me on Dread Labs in, uh, are like uh, male. And then 20 is female. 20% yeah. is female. Um, so I can make like the chunky rings, but... Ooh, Dreadlap Scarf would also be really cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you guys know about Type Scarf, actually? You know Type Scarf, right? Yeah, it's uh, the yellow one. Oh, yeah. no, the, the... The neon yellow one. Yeah. Um, so there... I, the... I remember it because when it was snowing, I was like, can I wear this scarf? You were like, no, it's it's like, what was it, 200 bucks? No, 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 no. The dread... That one's really cheap, but... Um, oh, the other one. It's... Uh, it's uh, It doesn't... They don't make them anymore. Oh. I was like, mm, I will go without it. Um... <laughs> I would just be cold. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Typescarf is basically a uh, designer, graphic designer from uh, Germany, I think. And they, um, uh, I think they design like custom mm -hmm. uh, scarves every year. And then they started Type World, and then they did like a really cool uh, bucket hat. And all of the designs are like revolved around like mm -hmm. really cool uh, experimental typefaces. Uh, so they do one every year, uh, but I only uh, bought one in 2018, I think, or 2019. Mm -hmm. um, my ear is kind of a bit hurting. What? Do I need to no, put it's like here? the small. Is it too small? Yeah, I think. But oh. it's like the ear I got a surgery on. So mm. that's very sensitive. Um. So, yeah. Thank you, all of you, for the merchandise ideas, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, need you need to write them down. Uh. Yeah. Um. Educate. Well, Revolver has, a, a lot, it has done a lot of stuff. Um, so uh, then there's uh, Type Scarf and that they made Type World mm -hmm. and they actually have a really cool bucket hat uh, as well with like mm -hmm. a typeface on it and I'll, I'll show you after the stream um, it's, it's, it's annoying that my phone is up there you know like oh, the you camera can, you can use my is, uh, we is share the same water bottle so you can use my phone Yeah, I trust you just but, don't look at my messages no <laughs> um you can, uh, if you're gonna repost it those on YouTube, you're gonna uh, name the title uh, Looking Through My Girlfriend's Phone. Gone, Gone Wrong. Gone uh, Sexual. So this is a uh, like type scarf. Mm -hmm. And then they have type world as well. And I think they also made flip flops now. Really? I like flip flops. Or. Just like, no. Oh no, they were, uh, they were loafers. Oh, uh, I like the. Not the toe flip flops, but like the ones I'm just wearing today. How do you call oh, it? The, the they're called no, they're not called flip flops. They're called slippers. Slippers. Yeah. Slippers. No, they're not. Slippers are like the those are like. Wait, I don't know. Can I show it? Yeah, just show it. So my headphone. How do you call this type of shoe? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, I'm in COVID. I'm in lockdown. That's, it's called a slider, I think. Slider. Yeah. Or sandal. No, that sandal is with more straps. Are you wearing yours? Yeah. No, you but, but but there's literally like a brand, and they they sell like a lot of those, and they, they're called Sandal Boys. I don't know. Um, I find it weird. Anyways, like, uh, this kind of like makes me loop back all the way to when someone asked me about my favorite brand, Daily Paper. <laughs> uh, I didn't. That really was like, a question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't really like elaborate yeah. on that. Um, so Daily Paper is a clothing brand from the Netherlands, and uh, they, it's basically it used to be like a blog in 2011 mm -hmm. or something uh, from four guys from Amsterdam, and they all have an, uh, an African heritage. Uh, I think one of them is from uh, from Ghana. Oh, I don't Kana, know. Ghana. I don't Kana. know how to pronounce Kana? it in English. Uh, one's from Morocco and one's from Somalia, um, and basically, like they take a lot of like. Uh, yeah, like inspiration from Africa in mm -hmm. general. You know, they had like a whole. Uh, this was when I started to fall in love with the brand, and I think it's in 2014 or 2015, maybe. They had like a collection, and it was all revolved around the Okavango uh, rain tri. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, water system thing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it was like uh, mostly like, uh, you know. Uh, Techware based uh, to be, being anti rain and stuff, um, but it all and then they uh, a year later they uh, had like a special valley. The I think it's called the Omo Valley or something, and that's where they drew their patterns from. So that's really cool to to uh, have like such a big like uh, obvious message from your clothing mm -hmm. brand. I guess you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's what I that's what I really really like about 
about Daily Paper as a brand. And I think uh, not a lot of other brands share that same, like, obvious, um, yeah, like, obvious uh, 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 display of inspiration, mm -hmm. I guess. So that's really cool. Uh, what is, what's your favorite brand? Oh, I don't know if I have a favorite brand. I have a few stores that I usually go to. Mm -hmm. It's like mostly thrifted. Mm -hmm. Like you do, uh, you do thrift a lot. Yeah, I do. Or uh, on vintage. It's like I'm gonna show you after this podcast. I saw a few pieces. I was like, yeah, I want that. You you do need to research though if they're not just like uh, AliExpress. No, no, no. It is. It isn't. Okay. But um, like the big stores, I know it's not very. Um, green of me to buy mm -hmm. uh, at them but i really like Bershka. yeah and uh sometimes pull and bear but like they're sometimes their um uh, fittings are very strange like right. very, all those tops are very so short the the what the t-shirts and the tops the they're mm. so short like what do you want to see my nipple or my uh <laughs> or my yeah. uh the navel uh, belly button. Belly button. Uh, so yeah, we're staying away from yeah. now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because like the yeah, we don't like uh, the mass production. Uh, you know what I what I like hate even more about like. Uh oh. You say fun. Oops. Okay, so Oops. Um, I'm getting a notification from my phone. Because it's five o'clock, you need to post something on Instagram. Can you see it? Or do you need to go behind the desk? Can people still hear us? Yeah, they can still hear us. It's just okay. Um, do you have a funny joke? Oh, wait. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, there's something here. You see it? Or in the in the screen. Oh, that's that's the. Oh. Um, so uh, basically oh, didn't what finish I finish it what my song yeah because we're not a life no we're, we're, we're still podcasting yeah right? um it's from one of the greatest podcasts ever the song so podcast yeah they do interviews there I try now and in the morning yeah <laughs> Um, so yeah, putting it up a little bit. Um, anyway, what I hate about H and M is the greenwashing. Mm -hmm. So what I, you know, like it's one thing to to like be a sucky brand that's bad for the environment. Yeah. But the worst part is like how they're always acting like, oh, We're we green. recycled, uh, we recycled all these uh, like Bottles. sixty thousand socks into one sweater. But like it doesn't justify the thousand sweaters next to it. No, but the worst thing is like I think it's even worse for the environment because it's it's just like such a big process, anyways. Yeah. And um, the worst part was when I like announced to the public like, oh, we stopped uh, using uh, a real uh, leather. Real leather, and it was like it's it wasn't it like less one less than one percent of the whole yeah. collection used leather anyway. Um. So you know, it was like such an empty message, uh, but I think a lot of people are still are becoming more and more aware of that. Um, mm. As far as I know, at least. Yeah, like my friends, they don't know it, and it, most of my friends don't really. They don't care. That's another thing. No, I think they care if you tell them, but they don't investigate it for themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a few friends of mine really love buying clothes and. So they want to buy it cheap, but I, they don't know what that one shirt that so F of new <laughs> that one shirt uh, what that's gonna happen if they buy it, right? Like the what happens with yeah. how, many, how much water it costs and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. that um, give H and M as an example. H and M is gonna see that it sells and it's gonna make more and yeah, um, design more and. Make I mean, I, I, I get that a lot of people and... also don't really have a lot of money to just buy. No, I don't have money for um, buying clothes, so, so I really understand I'm a poor student. <laughs> um, so one, um, 
or what do you call it? Uh, one really, really responsible uh, brand ecologically is called Permanent Clothing. And it's also from the Netherlands, I think. Yeah. Um, it's really, mm -hmm. really small, but it's uh, I, I'll put it put it up on the Discord afterwards. But um, I think uh, they like they have like a whole thing on their website. Mm -hmm. But all of the th stuff that they release is like really uh, it's like super eco ecologically. Uh, it's it's super sustainable, mm -hmm. um, and they also have really cool designs. I think a lot of people in the Dreadlocks community would like it. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I should do a brand highlight about that in the future. Um, yeah. yeah, I find it really hard to buy something that's good for um, the nature, but also for human rights. And also like um, the people who work there, mm -hmm. like with uh, Me Too, who, yeah. a brand who supports them. It's really hard to come by. Yeah, and to see what is a, a great brand, yeah. an honest brand. Yeah, there's even, and especially with those big brands, you don't really see yeah. uh, everything behind the, the mm -hmm. scenes, and 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 then they're also like not willing to share everything behind. Are the you screen. thinking about the same episode as I am from like the Dutch YouTube program? Yeah, yeah. but I'm not really sure if we should talk no. about it because it's too. No. It doesn't really have to do with anything. Uh, it's Dutch. Yeah. Um. All right, so um, we are one hour in now. Um. Yeah, I think we're. Uh, it's pretty fine what we're doing now with um. With the podcast. Yeah, I um. Do you want to keep streaming on Twitch next week or? Uh, I'm re I'm really not sure. I think I just prefer time. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's just because of like uh, I think just a lot of more a lot more people get the, the uh, notifications and it feels like I have to build everything back up again now uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, like, yeah it starts from scratch yeah like uh, but I, I'm, I'm blessed that there are nine people watching yeah. now but i think like uh, on on youtube it just it's just more mm -hmm. um but yeah my my general audience is just more on youtube i think i feel like and uh the algorithm of youtube also like mm -hmm. blesses me now and then lately so mm -hmm. um, but more important what do you think where where do we yeah, need what, to because I where think, do you want us to be <laughs> yeah uh I, I and also like yeah i don't know in terms of like uh i i just have the i i just feel like i have no all of these things are so new to me you know twitch and stuff mm -hmm. like that and then the bots and the chat and the widgets and maybe we can do something some different live streams here like gaming videos or something yeah, or maybe uh, or another thing that I wanted to do is DJ live streams, for example, because yeah. I think you get copyright striked mm -hmm. uh, faster on YouTube compared to Twitch. But not like something um, that we do weekly, right. just fun live streams over here, maybe. Yeah, not because like, like the usual YouTube segments. algorithm. You need to post three times a week, and you need to plan that. Right. Maybe you can we can use this for. Uh, fun yeah live streams yeah maybe like yeah that, that might be actually a good way to say what do you guys think in the chat like should we be uh like uh casual on twitch and then cooking cooking mukbang just mukbang. talking <laughs> oh yeah i saw a mukbang yesterday about McDonald's. uh yeah with mcdonald's talking about like companies bad for the environment probably yeah <laughs> mcdonald's <laughs> yeah companies are very bad i want to eat the chicken nuggets <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, we're think, trying to be vegetarian, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we're, we're we're having. Uh, I think no, we we're trying to eat less meat, not be vegetarian. Yeah. I think we don't eat meat at least five days a week now. But like today, we don't have Plant meat. Plant videos as well. <laughs> yeah, today we don't have meat for dinner, but we ma we did make pancakes with some bacon. But we try to um, stop eating meat yeah. at dinner. I think. Yeah. Most yeah. of the time. Uh, also, just a random idea as well. Uh, maybe like a building gumpla, yeah, on Twitch, or diamond painting. It's very asymmetrical. It's more. Asymmetrical. Yeah, a lot of people hated English. it last time. Remember? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna wrap it up today because uh, it's is uh, uh, over five p.m. now uh, already, and um, we're very Dutch. We eat at five p.m. Yeah. Uh, also, oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, talking about Kampla, um, 
can you show the the the, the runner holders that you made oh, you for can me? Get, I don't know where you. Oh wait, I, I just put, put them somewhere. You know. Because last time you were on live stream, I was playing. Wasn't it? Uh no. Wait, you might. Right. Yeah, I think I think I was because I remember you was yeah it was in the prettiest. I like it. Yeah, um, I need to get over it one more time for the white spot. You made toast last time. Oh yeah, definitely. That, yeah, right. I did make toast. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys can see this, uh, but it's actually like uh, it's for people who, that make gunpla. You have like these runners where you have to cut out all of the pieces from, um. So yeah, uh, Gabi made me like uh, it's it's made of clay and it's uh, oh, heavy thing. enough to like hold them uh, like separately like this. Uh, so yeah, that's really nice uh, when I get my next kit, mm -hmm. and it should come in either this month or next month. Uh, Is it was it the limited edition? Well, it's not a limited edition, but it's uh, it gets sold out like uh, mm -hmm. pretty fast because it's I think it's one of the most popular Gundam Gunpla yeah. kits ever. I also made some uh, plates, I think. Oh yeah, like a uh, stash for your jewelry. Yeah, stash for my jewelry with the clay, and I'm gonna make some candle, candle, uh, no. ca candle holders. Candle holders, I think tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't cool. know. Or I'm gonna watch uh, Netflix. <laughs> I uh, really love watching Netflix at night. I so. might if uh, I might dive into uh, doing like a gunplay decals this weekend. Maybe do it on Twitch. Yeah. Uh, Maybe like uh, even just like casual on my phone or something, you know. Mm -hmm. See if we can do that. We're free Saturday. Uh, Aude is asking if he can commission you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, and I think you all are all just regular. So me plugging is uh, doesn't really like, uh, uh, is, doesn't really, you isn't really useful because I think you all know uh where to find me uh so you can follow in uh, dreadlabs on instagram uh, if you want to get access to the project files you can join us on patreon uh, if you want to continue to talk let's go to discord there um i guess uh, i've plugged everything uh, yeah. and we'll uh we'll, uh, we'll see how we could, we're going to do continue doing it in the in the next like streams and i want to start a gaming dreadlabs sure. gaming yeah maybe okay just one video you just dancing mm, i don't think anyone wants to see that i want i want to see it you're, you're the only one. I think outdated wants to see it too. And Zhao. <laughs> Zhao supports me. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video or live stream. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.